Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to do a short video on statistics for any kind of standardized test, IV math class, pre-calc, Algebra 2, going down to Algebra 1. I'm going to look at mean, median, mode, frequency distribution, variance, and standard deviation. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this set of data here. Let's say I have 10 people um, in a class and I'm wondering what the average shoe size is and I collect all their data. This is univariate data, meaning only one variable, only shoe size. It's also discrete because even if your shoe or your foot is at 6.35, usually round down to get a size 6 shoe. All right, so these are my 10 values right here that I've collected. I have one value of 6, one value of 7, two values of 8, three values of 9. Usually the first thing you do is you put that set of data in increasing order and then create a frequency distribution. We'll call that X, the actual value, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Next column is going to be the frequency, how often it occurs. So f of x, or frequency. I have one value of 6, one value of 7. I have 1, 2, values of 8, 3 values of 9, 1, 2, no, 1, 1, and 1. My check is I add this up, and I should get 10, because I have 10 values. Now I want to find the average. Well, first column I'll create for finding the average is x times the frequency of x, right? Because I'm really adding 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. So I'm going to multiply these together to get 6, 7, 16, 9 times 3, 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to, and I add this up and I get 89. So the sum, x bar, is going to be the sum of all my x values divided by n, the number of values. So my average is the sum of all 10 of those values, 89, divided by the number of values, 10, and I get an average of 8.9. So there's my average. The median is the middle value. I have an even number of values, so it's going to be the fifth and sixth value. Well, this is going to be my first, second, third, fourth. My fifth and sixth value will be in this category. So my median is 9. And then my mode is the one that appears most frequently. I go down through here. I find the largest number of times the number appears. And my mode is also 9. So there's my mean, median, mode, my frequency distribution. I could draw out a histogram and see how it's represented, whether it has normal distribution. Vertical axis is how often it occurs. Horizontal axis is x. I have one value of 6, one value of 7, two values of 8, three values of 9, one value, one value, and one value. It looks like a pretty normal bell curve, so it's considered a normal distribution. Okay, I cleaned the board up. I wrote my average down here. We're not going to use the median or mode. Now we're going to find the variance and the standard deviation. Notation for variance. Variance is a lowercase sigma squared. That, this right here is a Greek letter sigma. That's a capital sigma. It means add the column up. This is a lowercase sigma. Um, and it, sigma squared is variance. And standard deviation is really very similar just uh, usually used more often. It is represented with the lowercase sigma. The only difference between variance and standard deviation is you take the square root of this number to get standard deviation. So standard deviation is defined as the square root, right? Square root of variance. Variance would go in there. And variance is defined as the sum of the difference between the actual value and the average value, that's a deviation, squared. So i got to figure out the difference between x and the average, square it, then I have to add up those 10 values, and then I divide that by n. That right there will give me the variance. Once I have the variance, I take the square root of it to get the standard deviation. 
the two most important numbers are always average and standard deviation. Standard deviation is measuring how tightly grouped the set is, right? Um, two things to be a good golfer, you gotta have a good score, a good average score, but more importantly, it's your consistency. That's a measure of standard deviation, like how are you gonna hit 100 one day and then a 70 the next day with an average of 85? Or are you always gonna hit right around your same score? If you're always really tightly clustered around your same score, you're gonna have a less deviation, standard deviation will be a lower number. So it's a measure of variance. All right, so let's set up and build this spreadsheet here. First thing I wanna do is create a new column. And this new column is gonna be x minus x bar. So the actual value minus the average value, six minus 8.9 is 2.9. We're gonna square it so we don't really care if it's positive or negative. Seven minus my average, seven minus 8.9 is 1.9. 8 minus 8.9 is 0.9. 9 minus 8.9 is 0 0.1. 1.1, 1 .1, 2.1, 3.1. So those are my deviations. Then I'm going to create a deviation squared. How far are you from the average? And then we're going to square it. The main reason we square it and then square root of it is really to take away all of the negatives. So I'm going to do this with my calculator. So I have 2.9 squared, 8.4. You keep more significant digits if you want. 1.9 squared, 3.6, 0 0.9 squared, 0 0.81, 0 0.1 squared, 0.1. Okay, so now I have all my deviations squared here, but remember, I have two values of this. So I gotta take that into account. I got three values of this. So I have to take those into account. So I'm actually gonna do a new column, frequency times my deviation squared. I only have one value 8.4, so this is 8.4. I have one value of 3.6, this is 3.6, but I have two values of 0.81, so 1.62. I have three values of 0 0.01, 0 0.03. I have one value of this, one value of this, one value of this. So this is actually all 10 of my values. So I'm gonna add up these 10 values and I'm calling it 10 because I've included the two of these and the three of these. So I'm gonna add all this up. This right here is gonna be the sum of deviation squares. So let me do that on my calculator. I add all these up and it's summed to 28.87. So again, that is the sum of my deviation squared. To find my variance, sigma squared, it's going to be the sum of my deviation squared, 28.87, divided by the number of values, right? I might only have seven values, but they occur 10 times. So n is equal to 10. So I take this number, I divide it by 10. My variance is equal to 2.89. So that's my variance. And then now to find my standard deviation without the square, I just take the square root of this. Right, square root of this is gonna give me my standard deviation. So I take the square root of my variance and that gives me my standard deviation of 1.7. So given this set of data right here, my average shoe size is 8.9 with a standard deviation of 1.7. And again, those are the two important numbers. All right, well, hopefully that made some sense. Thank you for watching.